Hello Capricorn, welcome back. Welcome to those that are new to my channel. I'd like to thank everybody for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please, please check your subscription status. It is still happening. We are still being unsubscribed accidentally. I had a lady come in the other day for the first time. She subscribed and she came back in the day after and was unsubscribed already. So I know it's a bit of a pain, but please check it every time you come in for a little bit until this glitch is fixed. I really want to thank everybody who's donating to my channel. I so appreciate it. You have no idea what that does to keep my channel going, as this is what I do for a living. Okay, so thank you. I want to remind everybody it is a general reading. It's definitely not going to resonate with everyone here completely, but there will be bits and pieces that resonate with you. Keep those and let go of what doesn't resonate. Don't forget to check your moon rising and Venus signs as well. <clears throat> That'll give you a much bigger, broader picture. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Oop. Okay, your first card out, Capricorn, is Eight of Pentacles. Then you have the six oh, of wands. I'm sorry, it's really dark over there, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Okay, got this figured out now. And I will show you these cards as we go through the spread too, so you'll get to see them eventually. Your next card out is the Page of Swords. Justice, nice. Ace of Wands, Messenger of Earth or Knight of Pentacles. So this card here now, the Ace of Wands, this is going to be part of your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords, Ooh, Fortune's Wheel or Destiny. And in your possible outcome position, ooh, the tower, but that's okay. That's okay. It's not always a bad thing. The Ace of Wands combined with the Emperor. Wow, okay, so this is your overall energy, the Emperor and the Ace of Wands. So this is where you're at-ish because time is an illusion. This is where you're headed. This is your possible outcome, overall energies. All the other cards in between are your journey from point A to point B, okay? Give me a minute to take a look at your cards, get a feel for the energy and any messages coming through. <clears throat> Okay, so the Ace of Wands with the Emperor. Trying to get the glare. <laughs> you've got two different light sources here and they both want to glare in different directions. So you've got the Emperor and the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Okay, this is a gift from the universe. Aces always are. You've also got a little fairy. I don't know if you could see that before, but you've got a little fairy sitting on top of that lantern. So you are being guided. You do have help along the way on this journey, this part of your journey. But it's a brand new beginning, a gifted new beginning. But it's something that you're going to be absolutely passionate about. This is your um, following your passion. You know how they say, follow your passion? It's that, that wonderful feeling in the pit of your stomach that you feel when something around you is so good and so wonderful. You feel it in the pit of your stomach. That is your passion. Follow that. Whatever it is that you're doing, thinking, whoever you're around and, and you feel that feeling, that's passion. That is your inner being's passion. It's what you're supposed to move 
on. And the emperor. Yeah. This is somebody who has a lot of self-confidence, a lot of inner strength, a lot of self-esteem. And uh, this guy does not function from a place of fear ever. This guy knows. He just knows. And he does. And he bees. This guy, he creates empires and then runs them like it's child's play. Nothing is too difficult for this guy to take on. He, he doesn't ever feel that he's not good enough, right? Like we all tend to do at one point or another. We all tend to have that same feeling of just not being good enough to take on whatever it is that we need to take on. But this is your passion. This is your passion. So you are going to take this on. You're supposed to take this on, okay, and move in that direction. And it is going to be a gift. And it's going to be a brand new direction because you've got the Eight of Pentacles in the very beginning. This is your first step here. Doing something brand new. Some of you might be going back to school because this is known also as the Apprenticeship card. This is something that you've never experienced before. You've never uh, worked in this industry. You've never moved in this direction with another person. I'm not sure what this is. It's going to be different for all of you. It could be it could be a relationship, a romantic relationship. It could be a new career. It could be starting a business. Maybe you've always wanted to own your own business and never have. Well, now follow your passion, right? And you see, you've got another little fairy here. It's the same little fairy sitting on the edge of this cello. Look at see them <laughs> kind of cute so this little fairy is following you around guiding you helping you move forward you are being guided so when you feel like you need to move in a specific direction it's because you're being guided so spirit is asking you to follow that guidance follow it through six of wands <laughs> This is a lot like the Six of Swords in this deck for me because the Six of Swords, again, it's this same pirate kind of ship that's been picked up out of the water and is now in the air moving forward. But in the Six of Swords, it's picked up so it can move faster to its destiny. In this one, it's being picked up and moved forward by a hot air balloon because it's not about the speed at which you move forward. It's about being at peace. It's about um, ease. It moves easier. Okay, so so your guides, your fairies are here to help this move a little easier forward for you. And then you come into the Page of Swords. This is almost like the two of pentacles in the regular decks because for me, she's got two feathers above her. You're not likely going to be able to see this one here. It's pretty light, but she's got this one up here, right? And she's doing everything she can to keep it afloat. She's trying to keep it up in the air. She's blowing from her mouth. She's flapping her wings. She's trying to keep things afloat is how it feels. But you're ha you've got you've got help. Like I said, this is guidance. This is your guides, your spirits, your angels, lifting you up, helping you to stay afloat through this. Okay, so you're not you're not on your own doing this. And then you come into the Justice card. Balance. Fairness, equality. She's wearing a mask, but if you notice, it's very translucent. You can see that she's wearing one, but you can also see through it to her face. So there's no more, no more of that. There's no more mask being worn here. Whoever was wearing the mask, that's going to be gone. Nothing hidden. 
nothing hidden. And that's what's going to bring the balance to your life. You're not to hide things. Your person won't be hiding things. It's going to bring balance. And it comes in right underneath the Eight of Pentacles. So this could be the change. This could be moving forward in that brand new direction. Maybe, maybe one of you has always had a fear of bearing everything, you know, bearing your soul to somebody else. This is maybe a new way that you're being asked to move in. And it's not going to be easy if that's, you know, if, if you're used to being closed off or they are. So the Knight of Pentacles. You notice her earrings. They're each, each of them are three pentacles. The three of pentacles is all about more than one person. Oops, sorry guys. More than one person moving forward toward the same goal. They all have the same want, the same destination in mind, the same goal. And they're working together to achieve it. This also represents achieving great things in your life. So that's, that could be where you're headed. And when you put the two threes together, you've got the six of pentacles, which is all about, again, balance, reciprocity. And it's interesting that they're flanking this ace of wands, this brand new passion drive, if you will. And it's going to bring balance, or you need to keep the balance when you move forward this way with this new, this newness. Five of swords. She's on a high wire. She's on a tippy toe on a high wire. She's got one leg out behind her and she's got no worries. She's not worried she's going to fall off this high wire. She's, she's again, she, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling that same energy again, that this is something brand new to you. Oh, there goes my famous tummy growl. Um, no fear. There's no fear. You're climbing higher. You're doing something you've never done before. And you're, you're needing to do it without fear. I know that's not what the Five of Swords represents, everyone. This is intuitive. Okay, I'm reading these intuitively. This is having no fear. Feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Because the thing with this, you're not actually the person walking this high wire. I mean, it is your physicality, but it's all the angels around you that are keeping you up there. It's almost like you're being puppeted, you know? Like you've got strings attached to you and there's no way you can fall. So. If you're feeling fearful about this new beginning, feel the fear and move move to move through it anyway because you know when you think about it, if you look back over your life, all the really great things that you wanted so bad in your life, they were always on the other side of fear, some kind of fear, right? Because the wheel is turning for you now. This is you moving towards your destiny. It's turning in your favor. So there is no reason to fear. And it also is divine guidance, like I said. So there's no reason to fear this. You are being divinely guided. You're being moved. You're being moved. This tower, like I said, it's not one to be feared. Look at how solid this thing is. There's no lightning bolt hitting this and... and crumbling it to the ground. There's nobody diving out of high up windows because they fear dying inside this burning building. This is strong and tall and nothing is taking this down. This is a shock to your system. It is a big surprise, but it's not anything to fear. Okay. This is going to, I just looked at the clock and it was 1313. 13. So I don't know if any of you uh, pay attention to the numbers, but 13, that's a big one for me. And 13, I came to the realization uh, about a year, year and a half ago that that is actually a twin flame card, or card? Twin flame number, 13. It's also lucky 13, and you got it twice because I noticed it at 1313. 13. Anyways, this 
this tower moment is going to be a welcome surprise and it's going to be bringing luck because 1313 right it's going to bring you all kinds of luck and good fortune the wheel of destiny is turning in your favor and bringing you all of this good fortune good luck good fortune wow okay capricorn we are going to use the shadowscapes deck to clarify What are we clarifying first, angels? Eight of Pentacles. Okay. And here we have the Six of Swords. We just talked about that. And again, in this deck, it's all about you being moved just like the six of wands you're being picked up and moved the six of wands it's a gentle shift it's an ease easier shift in this in this one here it's absolutely easy and peaceful because it's happening in your sleep look at this person on the back of this swan they're asleep they don't even realize they've been picked up and moved but they're being moved out of a darkness. If you notice all the birds, five, five of these birds are black and dark. So that's a darkness, okay? And you're being picked up by a white. The sixth bird is white. So you're being taken to a lighter place, an easier place, a brighter place. You're moving to the sun. The sun is in the background here. It's clarity, right? This is clarity. So this newness, whatever this is, possibly you've been in the dark. You've been going through a dark night of the soul period or you've been doing a lot of shadow work. You're coming out of that. You're coming out of it. You're reaching the pinnacle, meaning you're there. You're at the top of that mountain. You're almost at the top of that mountain. And things are going to get a lot easier from this point forward. Doesn't mean you're done shadow work. It just means you've done you know three quarters of it you've done the majority of it we will always be working on things till we die i'm sure but you know there's no more of the the brutal oof agonizing shadow work that gets done in the in the beginning stages you move past that you've done the work and now it's time for your ten of cups this is the newness you're moving into a brand new way of being completely living loving learning thinking being wow this is total emotional fulfillment you are moving toward a new way of loving now this could be with a current partner it could be with a new partner but the two of you will both be raised up out of the shadows and brought into an easier way of moving forward together, okay? Those of you that are already in a partnership, this is go moving to the next level in that partnership. If it's a good partnership and you, you know, you feel you're with your soulmate, then this is you moving in a new direction with them that's going to be a lot easier. No more of that back and forth. The, the triggering is likely to either you know, probably not come to an end because that's what our soulmates are here for. But it's going to take you to that place where you're not constantly triggered. It's going to be fewer and further between, right? Okay, angels, what else are we going to clarify? Ace of Wands, okay. This new beginning, following your passion. Seven of Cups. If you notice in this card, she wants to be at this castle. They're here. She wants to be up here. He's checking the map, trying to figure out how the hell did we end up at this place where there is no castle. 
because there's one over here, there's one over here, and there's one up in the air. He's using his intellect, trying to figure this out. How did we get here? We were aiming at one of these castles. How did we get here? And she's going, look at this one up here. This is where I want to go. The almost impossible one to get to because it's in the air. But it is her passion. Don't let anything stop you from moving toward what you're passionate about, what it is you want. Because like I said, you are being guided at this point in time and anything's possible. Everything is possible now. Okay? <laughs> because you've done the work. You're in this place. You have become the high priest or the high priestess. Look at the wisdom here. Look at the size of this owl. Wings spread, soaring. She's being raised up higher than high. This is you, Capricorn. Enjoying. Look at, she's holding on to a pomegranate. And what I'm hearing is you're enjoying, you are about to enjoy the fruits of your labor. All this work, all this shadow work that you've done. Never mind, I can't get at it. Anyways, I think that's what I'm going to title your, your reading. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Okay, so what else are we clarifying here? What do we want to clarify? Five of Swords, okay. Oh my goodness, you've got the Emperor a second time. This is your, your, um, your abilities. Everything's possible, like I said. And when you're in a place of the Emperor, anything and everything is possible. That seems to be a message coming through to you. Everything is possible now. Move through the fear. Don't allow fear to hold you back because everything is possible. Strength. Have the strength. Have the courage. Use your intuitive abilities. This girl tamed this lion, this beast, with her thoughts alone, telepathically. Her intuitive abilities, her, her, her ability to speak energetically to the animal is what tamed it. And there's that calm and ease again, right? She didn't use whips, chains. She didn't leash this animal. She didn't cage it. This is all about not using heavy-handed methods to achieve what you want to achieve in your life. It's about the gentleness, the ease. Your reading seems to have a strong underlying message of ease to it. Okay, tower. <laughs> I kind of knew we were going to head for that. Okay, let's see about this tower. Three of cups, see? This tower is going to be a good tower. It's going to be a gentle tower. This is something that, that brings something into your life that you're going to be celebrating. You're going to be so happy about it. It's a surprise. It's a shock, but it's a, it's a, it's a good shock. It's something that you would never have believed would come true, but it's coming true, whatever that is. It's happening and, and you're extremely happy about it. You want to announce it to the world. That's how happy you are about what this tower brings in. The Empress. You now have the Empress with the Emperor. Power couple. This could be you and your person coming together, but this is growth. It's, again, it's that newness and diagonally. It's in line with the Eight of Pentacles, which is all about newness, 
something you haven't experienced up to this point in time, right? It's a rebirth, it's growth, it's expansion. Look at the butterflies. This is a brand new you. Brand new you, brand new situation, brand new life, brand new everything. Okay, so now that we've clarified, the bottom of the clarifier deck is part of your overall energy as well. King of Wands. So this could be your person. And you know, I've always looked at the Emperor as a King of Wands, probably because of the Lion, but also because the, the King of Wands, the fire signs are very Emperor-like in the way they do things, the way they live their life. But it could also be your person, okay? So it could be a Leo... Aries or Sagittarius, you also have, where did it go, the strength card, that is Leo. So some of you have a Leo in your world, some of you have an air, or an air sign, some of you have a fire sign, and it doesn't have to be, it can be anybody, but there are no other people cards here, I only use the people cards as people, okay, wow, okay, so let's get a synchronicity oracle card for you. The energy around the King of Wands, have a look at this card. Look at the energy around him. It's swirling, it's fast, it's moving you. This is where you're gonna get to. And it's it's everything you want because the King of Wands is all about what he wants. He knows what he wants and he knows how to go after it and he doesn't stop until he gets it. That's the energy you need to take on here. Know what you want and go after it and get it. Damn it. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Right now, you are in a calm before a storm. And the storm is not a bad storm. It is the tower storm. Okay? But we've already talked about that. The tower here is, it's a good tower. It's bringing something in. It's bringing in a shock and a surprise, but it's a good one. Okay? Whoa, okay. Way too many cards, and thanks for messing up my table. Holy cow. That is definite movement, <laughs> and it kind of messed up the six of, six of Swords, which is movement. Movement forward. You've got a lot of those. Well, not a lot, but I mean, you've got the Six of Swords, you've got the Six of Wands, You've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is forward movement. Did I cut those three times? Wow. Okay, we're going to go again. Angels, I'm sorry if I did already do this. I need you to do it again, please. And that's why I needed to do it again, because there was a very specific card they wanted out. <laughs> All in divine timing. Divine timing, all that means is when you're ready. It's not anything outside of you, it's inside you. So when you're ready, when you've got this worked out and you're not waiting for someone or something to take place, you're quite happy, quite content, quite at peace within yourself and your world. Nothing is needed outside of you to make you happy or to, to make you feel that love because you've got it inside of you. And then when things do start coming in, wow. Wow, the tower moment, right? Big surprise. Once you get to that place, it's it's almost as though you've been working your duff off trying to get everything manifested that you want to manifest and it's like it's not here. It's not happening. I've been waiting. Everybody's saying this is coming, this is coming and it hasn't come. So where is it? But you get yourself to that place that place of emperor where you just know and strength. You utilize your intuitive abilities. You're just at peace within yourself and your world and you're not in need or want of anything. That's when it comes in. It's like you've, you've you know, you give up. It's like, okay, you know what? None of this is coming. 
Everybody says it is, but it's not, and it hasn't been. So whatever, it's not coming. It's when you finally let go in that way that they all show up and you go, whoa, i would given up on all of this. That happens throughout your life all the time, right? I had given up on them coming to me. I had given up on, on making all that money. I had given up on that new job. And boom, that's when they show up. That's what you need to be aware of. Okay, so we're going to get a Wisdom of the Oracle card for you. Okay, that didn't start good. Mending. A lot of people getting this card. 52, which breaks down to a 7, which is a very divine number, okay? And like I said already, you are definitely being divinely guided here. There you go. Look at the card while I'm reading it from the book. And just so you know, this is the last card in this deck which is a very clear sign to me that this is a final step for you before coming to fulfillment. Wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, whatever it is you're looking for, okay? This is the final step, mending. Essential meanings are forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. The Oracle's message is, each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes of resentments, and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. Relationship message is... You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're to move forward. Separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do, even if you're not aware of it. The energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart isn't the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Or another way to ask that is, what would I do coming from a place of love? How would I handle this coming from a place of love? Only good will come of forgiveness and an honest redress. So there is someone or something out there that you need to focus on, that you're not focus on, but you need to um, take care of. Tying up loose ends, so to speak. Taurus just got the same kind of message, having to tie up loose ends. It's something we all have to do in order to move forward. Okay, I think we should get one more card. Let's get a Soul's Journey card for you. Courage. Oh my goodness. You've got the King of Wands, you've got Strength, and you've got the Emperor twice. This is all about courage. Also the Five of Swords here. You on that high wire. That takes courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah, and your reading was kind of about fear and moving through it, right? That's perfect absolutely perfect okay I want to ask your guides and your spirits what it is that you can do be think and or feel in order to move through this and get to the the outcome you're looking for in the quickest and easiest way possible we're going to do that in the extended there will be a link above my finger here there will be one below the video 
we're going to go over and answer that question for you. Those of you that are going over, I'll see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys. I'll see you next time.